Hey guys, so the first thing you want to do is set up fingerprint shortcuts. So when you apply fingerprint to unlock your screen, just hold on to it a little bit longer and it gives you six shortcuts that you could choose from. So let's say I unlock and I keep my finger right there and I get these six shortcuts. I could call someone, open a new tab in Chrome, a new reminder, take a selfie or just take a new note or do a voice search. And if I don't want to do any of these, I just drop it into exit. Now to set this up, go into settings, go into utilities and then hit quick launch. There are shortcut settings and these are the six that I have right now. You can, you know, change the priority depending on what you want first. But you could always go ahead, delete these and add new shortcuts. There's a whole list of, you know, some tasks that are repetitive and you might want to put that uh, as a shortcut or you could just have an app as a quick shortcut that you want to launch quickly. Next, you should set up the way you navigate your OnePlus, that is the way you use your back, home and recent apps keys. I personally like navigation gestures, which is what I'm using right now. And with just a couple of swipes from the bottom of the screen, you could pretty much use um, the back key, the home key and the recent apps key. And it's a lot faster. I mean, swiping from the left and the right edge at the bottom just takes you back one step. So it's pretty much like the back key. Swiping up and holding from the center will give you recent apps and just swiping up from the center without holding is pretty much like your home button. And to set it up real quick, just go into settings, then buttons and gestures and then head over to navigation bar and gestures. Make sure navigation gestures is clicked and then you can go through these tutorial screens that tell you exactly how to use navigation gestures most effectively. And guys, before we move on to the third one, do support my channel by liking this video, subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell icon so you never miss a video from me. Okay, coming to the third one is quick gestures. So even in complete locked state, if I draw an O, it opens up the camera. Let's say my flashlight is turned off, I draw a V and it turns on. Again, just another V and it turns it off. And you can actually set more of these. So go into settings, go into buttons and gestures and then quick gestures. Over there, you'd see that I have O, V, S, M and W. Of course, O and V are already set. So let's go ahead and set up S. And let's say that, you know, that should open up the calendar. And that's it. Now when I draw S, it's going to open up the calendar. So it does save me quite a bit of time and a bunch of clicks. And do explore other quick gestures that are there in that settings. So for example, flip to mute, three finger screenshot, double tap to wake up. You know, so these are a couple of things that you could also try and enable at your end. Okay, jumping on to the next one, you would have noticed that my entire phone has a black theme to it. So whether it's my phone dialer, whether it's the messaging app, or whether it's gallery, all of these are in dark mode. Now by default, the 60 ships with the light theme. So you gotta go into display and change your theme to dark. Now there are a couple of reasons you should do that. One, it's going to save you battery. Second, it's just easier on the eyes. And third, it looks really badass and it changes all your native apps to dark theme as well. Moving on, if you have some apps and you don't want people to be able to access them, you could go into settings and then go into utilities and use the app locker that's built in to the OnePlus 6T. So just open the app locker and then go ahead and add apps like, you know, it could be WhatsApp, it could be Instagram, it could be your dating apps and you can just lock them. You could also hide notifications from those apps so that they're not even available on the lock screen. Okay, next. Now, I know you guys are really kicked about using the in-display fingerprint reader on the OnePlus 6T. That's the new thing that they've brought. Um, but if you compare it to the previous generation fingerprint readers, it is slower. In fact, at times it does not even work. That's why you must set up the face unlock. It's still crazy fast. It's extremely fast actually. And again, I haven't even seen any other Android phone be that fast. I mean, just look at how fast it is. I'm just gonna quickly, ah, oh, there you go. See, so, you know, I sometimes don't even see the lock screen if I'm looking at my phone directly. It is that fast, so do set it up. The next thing you wanna set up is you double tap on the home screen and it locks your device. So, you know, it's very easy. Um, just go to the home screen and long press to get into the home settings. And then there's an option called double tap to lock. It's going to be turned off by default. Just turn it on and you're all set. One thing that I really like about the Galaxy Note 9 or the Samsung flagships is that, you know, they have their notifications, their clock styles, all on the lock screen as always on display. And it gives you a bit of more information, but it's always on. Unlike the OnePlus 6T, where the always on display only comes up when, you know, you tap on the phone or when you move it, 
you know, that's the only time when it comes up. So, you know, for example, it's just going to go off now. And when I move it, it realizes that, you know, it's being picked up. So it turns the always on display on. And then you can see whatever notifications, clock, date, calendar, whatever. And there's not much that you can do about it, except you need to turn these settings on as well. So go into settings, go into display and then turn to ambient display and just make sure that both of these settings are turned on and you also turn on for new notifications. So every time, you know, you get a new notification on your phone, your display is going to light up and that way, at least you get to know that there is something new on your phone. It may not be always on, but it's better than nothing. And lastly, I would strongly recommend that you go ahead and look for updates manually. I know these are supposed to come to you automatically and they will, but if you want to be at the forefront of getting all the new security upgrades and features, check for updates manually by going into system settings. And guys, this brings me to the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching it and that you did learn something new. Don't forget to subscribe and do hit that like button as well. See you in the next one.